Hi, I'm Tony Twist from the UK. Today I'm going to make a cute penguin and a bat. It's a variation of the quick cat that I did in Blue Magic, the magazine. So for this sculpture, we're going to need two black 160 cues, one black 350 cue, and a spider eye top print. Let's get started. Okay, so we take the black 350 cue and we're going to inflate it, leaving four fingers. So we tie a knot and make a two finger or three finger pinch twist. Then we're going to come down a hand and a thumb. Then we're going to match this bubble here. Then we're going to do a bubble slightly longer than these two. And then roll the bubble through. So you've got a slightly arched back. I'm going to do two small pinch twists. And discard the rest. Now, I'm going to take a 160 Q and inflate almost all the way. Leaving about three fingers and then tie the two ends together. And you want to find the centre point and make a twist. Now this comes down and this gets fed through the uh, longer bubble. And then one comes up to the top. And one comes down to the bottom. So we have the wings. We're going to shape the wings now. I'm going to come down about a hand and a thumb and make a shock twist. And shock twist the second one. And then I'm going to just shape the bottom one like so. Give me impressions of wings. Now for the head, we get the print, and that's inflated about five fingers. The nozzle gets attached to the top pinch twist here. So, now for the ears, I'm going to take another 160 Q black that gets inflated about halfway. Tie it off. And tie the balloons together in a loop. Discard the excess. And then we're going to split this in two, like so. That comes up underneath the, the round print. Switch places. 
the ears. Now we're going to give a squeeze. There we have the bat. And all you need to do now is just some artwork. I'll just make two fangs, two small triangles, and just a line across. And that completes the quick bat. So for the cute penguin, we're going to need a black 350Q, an orange 260Q, a yellow 160Q, six, six inch quick link, a five inch white round, and a five inch black round. Okay, so now we need to inflate this, leaving four fingers uninflated. tie off and make a two finger to three finger pinch twist. And come down a hand and a thumb. And make one small pinch twist. I'm going to match this bubble here. place and again I'm going to do another bubble slightly longer than these two to create an, an arch at the back giving the impression of the leaning penguin and discard the rest so now we're going to make the cheeks and I'm going to reinflate a five inch black round all the way to stretch and release the air to about four fingers. I'm going to split the balloon in half. at the same size. Take the nozzle and wrap it round. And that will take the, the excess and that will get tied into the pinch twist at the top. And they face towards the two front bubbles here. So we're going to take this, the white quick link and inflate it all the way to stretch it. Then deflate the balloon to about five fingers. And then you want to close, tie this close to the knot so you've got the, a nice stretch, like so. Top part wraps in between the eye, two cheeks and around that pinch twist, like so. And holding onto this nozzle here, you want to pull it down, stretch it around that bottom pinch twist. And give it a little squeeze, like so. Then we take a five inch white round and inflate that three fingers. You want to tie close to the bubble and that also gets split in half. Creating two eyes. Taking the nozzle, goes in between the two eyes, uh, cheeks, sorry, and pinch push. That creates two eyes. take an orange 260 
even about five fingers. Now out of this bloom we're going to get the beak and the feet. We're going to start off with the beak and we're going to twist this three fingers. And then two fingers and then lock together here and here. And then we're going to tie off. At this point you can break the blue, leaving a bit of a string. And tie off here and make two loops, four fingers. Rolling the nozzle through to stop it unravelling and repeat. Discard the rest and tie. Now that will get locked in to the bottom pinch twist. The beak wraps in here between the two black rounds. So, and to give it a little bit of cuteness, we're going to put a little bow tie. So using a 160, I'm just going to inflate about halfway. We won't be using all of this. I'm going to make a two finger loop twist. Roll that knot round to stop it unraveling. And I'm going to make a second two finger loop twist. Followed by a pinch twist. Then we can have that hand and thumb just to leave some space for tying off. That scrap gets tied in just under the two black cheeks. That wraps around nice and loose. Now we just draw two rounds for the eyes. Here we have a cute penguin. So here we have the quick cute bat, the quick cute penguin. You can do many, many variations on these designs. They're very quick and easy and created with Qualitex.